May the name of the Lord be glorified. I thank the Lord for this wonderful day and I'm glad to have the opportunity to speak to you all again today. So the title of my message is The Burning Bush Experience. Let us go to the book of Exodus chapter 3 and verses 4, 13 and 14. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses, and he said, Here am I. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you, and they shall say unto me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am, had sent me unto you. Hallelujah. May the Lord give us the grace to understand something from this portion of the scripture we have just read. The Lord is expecting each of us to have a spiritual experience with Him. In coming face to face with Him, Moses wanted to see that wonderful sight on the mountain. There was a bush burning but not consumed. When Moses went up there, he said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. The Lord calls him for, from the midst of the bush, from the burning bush, Moses, Moses. Beloved of God, when the heart that is seeking after God is formed in us, we hear the Lord calling us. In this burning bush experience, the most important thing to notice, for all of you who are listening, if you still need to have a burning bush experience like this, then you have to come to a place of seeking where you hear the Lord respond to you, to your seeking heart, and call you by name. Many may ask, can we really hear the Lord calling us by name? Many of you may think, oh, I haven't heard the voice of God calling my name that way. But beloved, God does call you this way. And these scriptures have been written for us to read as an example of how God calls us. When we truly start seeking God, when we come into that Holy Spirit experience, we understand that God is calling us individually by name. He's calling me by my name. We even see this in the case of the prophet Samuel. When Samuel was a young boy, the Lord called out to him by name three times. So brothers and sisters, God calls us each by name. When you come to the true revelation of the word, when you come into the truth of the word, when you understand the depth of the mercy and grace of the Lord, then you understand that he is calling you by name. The Lord gives us the grace to acknowledge deep down in our hearts that he has called us by name. He is a God who has named each and every one of the stars of heaven. When the Lord created the earth, he kept a name for everything in it. So when the Lord calls us by name, it is a sign to us that he knows us. When he calls you by name, he reveals to you that you are chosen, that you are predestinated. So this burning bush experience, this experience of the Holy Spirit, this drawing near to God enables you to look into the wisdom of God. Moses himself was not at first able to understand the experience that he had with God in the burning bush. But as he drew closer, as he heard more, as he came to know more of what God was telling him to do, he found himself face to face with the living God. He began to understand the mind of God. He recognized that, that here was a living God who spoke to man, not an idol of wood or stone which could not feel or speak. He is a God who speaks, a God whom we cannot see today calls us by name and we know by this that he is the living God, the God who speaks. He is the God who speaks, he is the God who knows us. Amen. The next part of the burning bush experience is God revealing his name to us. See the first part was God calling us by name. The second part is God revealing his name to us. As we read in the 13th and the 14th verse, the Lord revealed his name, revealed himself to Moses. When we meet each other, we introduce ourselves by our names, right? Something like that is what happened on the mount. But then Moses did not have, have to introduce himself. God knew him already. It is the same today with us and God. He knows us. He knows us by name. He calls us by name. And when he calls us, we receive this revelation in our hearts that this is the God who has chosen us in our mother's womb. 
He has known us from the beginning. Even when our parents were think, thinking about us, thinking about what to name us, there the same God was present, placing a thought in their minds about what to name us. But He already knew what we would be called. So God knows each one of us by name. He knows the life behind that name. Even though we have led lives of sin, He calls us by name and changes our lives by revealing His name to us. Hallelujah. So why does God reveal His name to us? Because no matter what kind of a life you have led before, when you receive the revelation of His name, your life is changed completely. Knowing our own names does not transform us, but knowing the name of our God, receiving the revelation of His name, transforms us, fulfills us. Moses asked God, when your people ask who has sent you, what should I say? So God reveals His name to Moses, not only for him to know, but so that he may go and proclaim it to the children of Israel as well. It now became Moses' commission to go and share this name with his people. So if we have received the revelation of this wondrous name today, if the Lord has revealed to us the power and might and the anointing of his name, then it is our duty, our commission to share it with others as well. If the Lord has called us by name, he has called us for a reason, for a purpose, so that we may carry out the commission of proclaiming his name to others. My dear brothers and sisters, if the Lord has called you by name, if he, he, the Lord has revealed his name to you, you are a blessed person. May the Lord give you the grace to share this wonderful revelation with others as well. If any of you are lacking in this burning bush experience, may the Lord lead you closer to him and into a deeper spiritual experience with him. May you not only hear his voice with the ears of your heart calling out your name, but may you also receive the depth of the revelation of his name of who your God is he make you stand as a testimony for that name that's why the Lord says in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8 but ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you and ye shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth they are witnesses for the name of Jesus Christ. They shared the majesty of this name with others. They baptized in his name. They cast out demons in his name. They worked many wonders and miracles in that name. They did so many mighty works in that name. And through that name, they, through the name, they introduced a dying world to its Savior God. So the true Holy Spirit experience will give us the heavenly wisdom of his name. All those who are aware of this now, let us seek His grace. Just as Moses who said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight. Why the bush is not burned? If you come to the Lord Jesus with a true seeking heart, if you come to this burning bush, you will recognize the voice of the living God speaking to you from it. You will understand the power and glory of His name. May each of you have this experience in your life today and may you stand as a bold witness for the glorious name of the one and only living God, Jesus Christ. May God bless you all. In Jesus' name, Amen.